option for MSB to be able to survive this because uh, if Vixen is able to just make one slip up, MSB is going to have to capitalize on that 100%. Definitely. This is one of those uh, matchups where I feel like stage isn't going to have too big of an aspect, but how they control the stage is going to be very dynamic. And yeah. I base that primarily off of wherever the pillar is, wherever the rock is. Yep. I mean, that rock can definitely cause some trouble. Uh, hopefully, Vixen's got the down bashes down path because that is a good way to deal with rock. Just being able to fling that back at Craig can definitely be annoying for the Craig player to deal with. I think another thing to consider is the um, the moves with armor that Craig has that yep. Ori doesn't really have an answer for. Yeah, because that side B, it's just like you have to respect it and just get out of the way because if that thing's coming at you and you're coming at it with an attack, you're going to lose 10 out of 10 times. Uh, approaches in neutral, I think, are going to be super pivotal on their end because if Ixen isn't able to make the right calls as far as where to go in on MSB yep. or like how to go in on MSB, like, they could have the speed to keep up, but if they just throw themselves rec recklessly at Crag, it's not going to be fun. Yeah, I mean, mm. it, it's definitely going to come down to that, like you said. And here we go, going to Julesville for game one. All right, well, if there is any stage to really cement the idea of key positioning, it's going to be this one. There's not a lot of places to move, even with the secondary plot. So MSB not really going to have a fun time if Vixen gets their game going. Yeah, I mean, they've just been controlling this ground relentlessly, and MSB has been trying to use that pillar, but it hasn't been working out, so he's unfortunately been forced off stage. There we go. Gonna get at least a little bit of safety from that pillar, finally. Yeah, MSB, generally speaking, Craig isn't just winning, like, neutral interactions, like, on a one-to-one -one against Ori, so when MSB does manage to take advantage, he needs to make the most of it. Absolutely, and right now, Vixen is doing a good job just staying out of Craig's range and just moving to try and bait out an unsafe option from MSB, and that's really what you have to do in this matchup as Ori. I love the way that Vixen is trying to kite forward with Sign, bait out some sort of wayward approach, or even just a poor timing on pulling the rock. But MSB is no stranger to these tricks. Yep, nice use of the explosive charge there. <laughs> I, that off air is just so devastating on this character. That situation flipped so fast, just by the platform moving a tiny bit. Yep. MSB, we, we, I was talking about that positioning aspect, and the yep. same very much has to be said for Craig, because just that little of an instance was what Vixen needed in order to pull themselves forward. Yeah, and that's the scary thing. You don't want to give Ori a single inch, because against Craig, they definitely have a solid combo game. And right now, Vixen is showing it off to great effect. Absolutely dominating presence on this platform, but... MSB is not out of a job oh. yet. Excellent timing on the forward air. Yeah, recognizing that Vixen was going to have to attack off the wall and pop up because of it, and MSB was just waiting there with that forward air. Definitely a solid punish. Well, the way that they're carrying MSB around based off the platform positioning, I think, is really good, too. Because MSB yep. really has not had a good opportunity to take advantage of where he's positioning his pillar or his rock. Yeah, and I mean, especially with that platform, like you were saying, just carrying him towards it, it gives Ori so many more options because they like to carry their opponent off the side, and that platform gives them that extra little bit of extension to be able to do that. Oh, trying to get it right there, unfortunately getting the wrong side of the up air to be able to send them the way they wanted, but they are still doing a great job of just keeping MSB at the ledge here. Yeah, there's been a couple of times here and there where Vixen is whiffing their attacks, and I think that's just the sacrifice that's made in favor of the really slick movement. Yeah, I mean, when you're moving that fast, it's hard to keep up sometimes, even as the one playing the character. But right now, they are oh. not being able to get out of that situation after getting signed buried like that. Yeah, no, high risk, high reward situation. They're not paying off for Vixen and having to deal with the rock proving to be a difficult challenge. Yep. There we go, another fear, but that's going to give Ori another chance to live here. Good tech, but unfortunately, that's all MSB needed to be able to finish off the stock. That was fantastic persistence from MSB. Oh, great parry there. Unfortunately for Vixen, this is going to be trouble because MSB going to be able to tack on a good amount of percent with that. And any percent garnered at this point is looking fantastic for MSB because he's chilling at 206. Like, I want to see if he can beat the high score of 300%. 
I would be both impressed and horrified if an Ori lets someone survive to 306. Oh, there we go, finally 240%. A little bit of overkill on the kill options there, but enough to finally finish off that stock of MSV. And right now they're just running rough shot over MSV stock here, 40% right off the bat. Hey, listen, this deep in the bracket, winner's side life, there's no kill like overkill. You've got to get it done one way or the other. Absolutely, and right now this rock trying to do overkill on this recovery. Oh, fair, not gonna be enough. Sends the rock shards up to force them back down. There's just no way out. Yeah, I mean, they're just trying to find a way back to stage, but MSB is just being relentless, hounding them. This could oh, be it. Well, there we go. Gets the bash, sends them out. Goodbye, MSB. Dixon did a fantastic job of tying things up by the end of that game one. MSB shaking the hoodie, too. Oh, we are getting serious now, and I mean, the way Vixen has been playing, he's going to have to step it up to be able to contend with this Ori movement because Vixen is starting to really showcase what kind of base you can pull out with that kind of speed because they've been dash dancing just outside of MSB's threat range. So it's really forced MSB to try to respect what they're doing more often. And that's creating the openings that Vixen needs to be able to put the hurt onto MSB right now. Like, regardless of the fact that Crag doesn't necessarily have the most dynamic of movement options, MSB is still staying very fluid with this Crag. And because of that, there's a pretty wide field of danger that Vixen has to navigate in and around. Yeah, I mean, MSB's definitely been doing a good job of using these platforms to help give him that extra boost of speed that he needs to be able to keep up with Ori. And taking him to forest floor here, just that little bit of extra speed makes it so much easier to cover this entire stage because there is not much room to work with. Yeah, no, this is a very claustrophobic stage and the blast zones are fit to match. So I think a very good call on MSV because if you're in a situation where you're only able to win neutral so many times, you have to make those times count. Absolutely, and right now he is making it count, Woo! giving him the dunk to the bottom of the stage and that is a huge lead for MSV right now. And just like how we saw Vixen pull a dominating performance in game one, they're going to have to try to hold up to some of that momentum because a pretty early stock honored by MSB is making this game two look like a fantastic count effect. Yeah, unfortunately, the down special does not go below the platform, but able to get a punish on the second down special there, and Vixen is off to the races here. Woo! And they're pulling ahead on that one too, only 52% built up, which I think if this game is shown, just that percentage is going to be climbing very quickly. Yeah, I mean, with the way both these players have been playing, one interaction has basically made that much percent each time. Nice respect there, just backing off of the pillar, recognizing MSB wanting to use the side special cancel off of that. Once again, really good puppeteering of Psy and just trying to figure out if you're gonna put it right on top of Crag or keep it as a resource ready to strike on the rock. Yeah. Oh, nice cancel off the pillar. Going to be able to use the empty up B to get back on the stage, and resources are back for MSB. Oh, almost had it with that up strong. He had the read. He had the read, but yeah. Vixen wasn't giving it to him. No, not at all. And right now, Vixen, unfortunately, in a really rough spot off stage against Craig. Man. Order truly the saving grace in this particular matchup. Yeah, this is really where... MSB has shined in this set, just keeping Vixen off the stage with these fares and just standing far enough back with Rock that Vixen can't easily contest the control that MSB has on the stage. Like, it's a move that's just large enough and just fast enough to be able to accurately track Ori. Yep. And we see the Rock that's put there, and the Rock naturally does a decent job of this, but Vixen has done such a good job of eliminating the target that MSB needs to put himself in there. He can't use the rock as a facade. Yeah. Oh, looking for the down air. That would have been brutal if that had hit. But unfortunately for him, Vixen is not going to give it to him. And right now, MSB building up a good percent here. Trying something, but we'll see what the punish is on that parry. It's not going to be too much. Good on MSB just trying to stay away. Got to stay as evasive as you can in high tension situations like this. Yep. Oh. No! <laughs> the push off of the stage of the rock and he is giving him the taunt. Oh, he earned it though. Yeah. That was ridiculous play. That's one of those weird things about the rock. If you throw it next to the ledge like that, because if you stand next to the ledge as the rock's coming down, it'll actually just shift slightly to the side and that's all it needed to be able to get down there and drop Ori low enough for MSB to get the final hit. 
That's such a unique situation, and I don't know if Vixen was aware of that type of pressure, because they seem to have been locked down, like, especially well in that one instance. Yeah. Whereas prior, all of Game 2, regardless of how tight of a stage uh, Treetop is, like, they were moving just fine. Yeah. I mean, that's definitely one of the ways you can deal with these fast characters. If you don't give them the room to work with, that speed doesn't even matter anymore. Either way, we see game three, and we'll see where the stage picks are. We haven't even seen the bands yet as they're uh, decided on both ends. Yep, and I will say I am loving the fact that we have four bands here because, as you can see, a permanent ban for Tempest Peak. Oh, we don't even see them checked off. Oh. We're just going right to tower. Okay. Yeah. So, this is a uh, interesting enough choice. I'm curious. I, I feel like this would have been a uh, good position to find ourselves in if you were the Krog player, right? Uh, this is honestly an excellent stage for Ori because of that up air. You can just easily carry people off the side with how close those blast zones are. So you have to be careful and respect Ori's options at the ledge. That makes sense. I feel coupled that in with how well Vixen is able to uh, kite Cyan towards the ledge. I felt like it'd be just a bit too much space to cover, but they're proving me wrong very quickly. Yep. Nice down strong on the rock there to send the shards up. Give him just enough opening to make it back on the stage, and MSB is back in neutral. Yeah, one thing I feel like we haven't had a chance to highlight because this mm -hmm. action has just been so fast-paced is how accurate MSB has been with sending out those rock shards to cover space. Yeah, that's true. It would be interesting if we could get like a stat of how accurate it is, and that right there is why I do not let Ori take me here because understood. You will die to that up air. Speaking of trying to go for it again, but not gonna be able to find it. That was really sneaky piloting of Sign because you saw how low Sign dipped. There was yeah. a rock in the way, but if positioned any further, that might have been enough to pop the tower, like the, the pillar that Kirk yeah. has. And oh, here we go. Here we go. Up air. Another one. Oh, tries to air dodge to catch him with an option, but MSB knocked the bite. Has a chance to make it back to the stage here. Oh, yeah, they're staying on the hunt. Yeah, I mean, once you take the lead against Craig and you have him off stage, sometimes you just have to push it as far as you can, especially on a stage like Rockwall, because it will definitely reward it. Nice shot, but it's not enough through the armor and staying super evasive as MSB. Will it be enough to actually get back on stage? Not this stock. Not at all, not with that F-Strong waiting for MSB, and that's going to be a good lead built up for Vixen right now. Yeah, no, they're sitting pretty with 45% on a somewhat larger stage. Like, sh they shouldn't have too much to worry about if MSB manages to slip through the cracks. Yeah, I mean, they've been doing a great job of just using this room to work with to be able to deal with MSB, and unfortunately for MSB, speaking of... That not parry punish is yep. such a big deal! Goodbye. You're gone. <laughs> you got bashed at the ledge on Rockwall. You are absolutely dead. I don't want to say it like it is Scooter, but I feel like because of that whiff parry punish, that was the game. Yeah, I mean... A whole stock and a half done in an instant. Yeah, I mean, a parry is the definition of high risk, high reward. And if you don't take the reward after taking that risk, that is what happens to you. The big shame, but we'll see if MSB can take it all back on game four. Vixen up the game, and they're playing primed and ready to move alongside winner's side of this top 48. Yeah, I mean, they've definitely been keeping up the aggression when they found those openings, and honestly, the punish game has been on point. And that's one of the things that you need to really emphasize when you're an Ori player, <laughs> but that's not putting in double time. Jeez. But at the same time, Ori's up there just putting in just as much work as that rock, and... MSB trying to find the bait, not gonna find it. Oh, that side B is gonna get punished. Not too heavily though on both sides. Both players kind of floundering oh. around, but it's MSB who recovers the faster. Yeah, and that Upstrong really good at covering these platforms. An interesting coverage option from Vixen trying to throw the brick in. I like it. But Rock has loyalty to one animal on this screen. <laughs> and that would be the The Craig that's up three to one! <laughs> oh my goodness! Not faced at all, even doing the down tilt taunt to get himself back in this game. And right now, this is definitely his game to lose between these two. Very aggressive forward tilt there, just trying to make sure sign isn't a problem as they press the offensive, and MSB is in it to win it now. Yep, using that near to scoop Vixen up, but not going to be able to find the follow-up. Holding Rock as long as they have to, but good parry, going to get Max H. Another good parry. Oh, and it oh. doesn't work at this time. I like that mix-up, just running across to the other side to make sure... Oh, and the push-off with the rock again! <laughs> wow! Oh, my 
my goodness. Just as quickly as MSB lost that game three. <laughs> Vixen just had game four ripped away. These rock pushes off of MSB, I gotta, after this tournament, I'm sitting down and watching that because I'm gonna be able to pull That's that a lot to study. Yeah. That's, so that's when you watch the Twitter clip, you yep. see that advanced tech and you're like, huh, that's a neat idea. Yeah. Let's see someone put it in bracket. Yeah, and then it becomes a broken idea. We just saw someone put it in bracket twice at key points. Yep. Want to stay alive? And I want you to make sure that you're bringing this to a game five, because that's exactly where we're taking the set. Yeah, and the challenge here, though, is this game five is Vixen's choice for stage. So MSB definitely going to be having to deal with these closer blast zones on Tower of Heaven. Yeah, this is a tough stage to get brought to by an Ori, but it's not something that MSB can't handle. Yep, I mean, as long as you're able to just control the space that Vixen is using, should have no problem, but the problem is there's a lot of height to cover. I was just about to say, using Pillar on stage is going to be a huge commitment from MSB because there's so much space for you to maneuver and punish that Pillar, and we already saw that in the first 30 seconds of this game. Absolutely, and right now, last 30 seconds has given Vixen a solid lead. No damage on them right now. On top of that, this stage belongs to them. They're moving around so freely. And even though, yeah, Ori has the options to do that and has the stats to back it up, like, it's a whole other thing when you have your opponent in the way, very much trying to fight their way back on stage. Yep. Oh, looking for that wave dash onto the stage there. Not gonna find it, so MSB getting an opportunity finally to answer back and gets them up to 76%, and that is a kill percent for Craig. Yeah, no, it's looking kind of bloody on both ends right now, but MSB refusing to die on the stock. Ooh. Yeah, on a stage like this, that's really impressive. Like, just as much as we can praise Vixen for how well they're putting out this pressure, the same could be said for how well MSB is withstanding all of this pressure. Absolutely. I mean, every time they've been forced into a difficult situation, patience has been the name of the game for MSB, waiting for that right opportunity to strike and get back. You know, that kind of harkens to, like, what makes Craig such a strong character. If you're willing to press through the threshold of playing a character on the slower end, on the heavier end, yep. against a character that's just more naturally fluid and mashy, yep. like, you're going to yep. get rewarded for that patience. Yep. I mean, this is definitely a character that, uh, Master Boomy from Avatar would recommend you to get that <laughs> training from. Oh, tries to send the Rockstars up, but the Bash gonna catch one of the Pebbles and give Vixen a chance to get back to the stage, only to get fared off the other side, two stocks apiece. Given how stocks started on this game five, yep. this is a pretty good situation for MSB to be in right now. Yeah, I mean, not a horrible percent deficit here. Just needs to find one good opening, but the problem is just finding that opening with the way Vixen's moving about. Maneuvering just looking so clean from Vixen right now. Refusing yep. to give up all this. Oh, <laughs> gets a solid dunk off of that bear and steals the lead from Vixen. Holy cow. That is a huge opportunity for MSB right now. Because now all this offstage play, all this moving around in the rock, yep. that's on MSB's terms, yep. not Vixen. Yeah, and that's really the biggest downside of Ori is just that lightweight. I mean, just being taken from one combo straight to death that is not something you want to have to deal with. Yeah, but unfortunately, that's what Vixen's got on this stage. Power not an especially bad stage for Krag, especially if that Krag is making really good decisions with their positioning. Yep, nice use of the side B there. Stall it yourself and get to the right spot. But right now, Vixen has to turn it up. Up air is not going to be enough to get rid of that stock off of MSB. Really good DI is making sure that this Krag is here to stay. Yep. Oh, that's interesting. interesting. Yeah, using the rock to kind of keep himself pinned there so he doesn't get moved around by those sign tosses. Really good. Oh! <laughs> Did he intend? Oh. I want to know if he intentionally crouched to try and bait out movement from Vixen. Intentional or not, the damage is done. Yep. <laughs> He's. MSB gotta let them know. He's yeah. here to win. Ooh. Vixen finally going down there, putting some pressure on MSB for waiting, but unfortunately getting parried. Oh! Answers back. No punish though. Oh, sign explosion, gonna give Vixen a little bit of breathing room there, but unfortunately, MSB firing off on all cylinders, trying to finish this game. Tensions there, rising as both players are high in percentage, but just Ooh. like that, MSB clapping back. It's a 3-2 victory. Yeah, and I mean, that is the hardest matchup for Craig in most Craig players' opinions, just because of all that movement capability that Ori has to deal with Craig. 
but MSB just holding down the fort, spacing just enough to be able to find the